San Francisco is a hotbed for hybrids. In fact, recent numbers show it's one of the top selling markets in the country for hybrid vehicle sales. With so many cars and taxicab fleets on the road, let me check the battery real quick. It's no surprise that business is booming at this Bay Area green garage dedicated to hybrid vehicle repairs. I had no idea whether this was going to work. It would be an experiment, and you know, if it would succeed, then it would be fantastic. When Carolyn first opened Luscious Garage in 2007, the idea of a shop dedicated to hybrids was virtually non-existent. But clearly that's not the case anymore with vehicles like these becoming more mainstream. Over the past five years, Luscious Garage has seen a huge increase in their customer base. Thanks to their expertly trained team of automotive technicians, a steady flow of work orders and constant queries from customers. It's just this little battery, and that's the whole issue, is that they don't have like a traditional cranking battery because the car doesn't crank. While she's pleased with the services her garage offers and the positive reputation they've built in the community, Cocolette is more focused on the unique repair space she's created, one that incorporates green business practices and environmentally friendly philosophies. We like to think that we've done the same thing to auto repair as the hybrid has done to regular cars. And that's being green, high tech and cutting edge. For starters, Luscious Garage is aesthetically pleasing with a wood barrel roof and exposed beams. The waiting area is more lounge like with cozy seats and a free Wi-Fi connection. To conserve energy, lights are only turned on when they serve a purpose. We actually have all these lights on solar sensors that you can't really see from up here, but one of these skylights has a solar sensor that actually will control when the lights turn on and off according to ambient light, so the lights don't have to be on if we don't need them. Large green plants are scattered about to help filter the air, and this 3,000 gallon tank harvests rainwater from the roof. This helps reduce freshwater consumption. Recycle bins for all kinds of materials are in constant use, and as Carolyn shows me, so here they're saying it's, you know, eco-power, eco-friendly motor oil. Mm -hmm. um, but it's entirely the specifications that we require for these cars. It's very hard to have uh, a consumer-based economy and yet not have an impact on the environment. And that's where uh, we've taken the approach where we're not saying we're green per se, we're really less brown. You know, the idea is that you're trying to constantly do the least amount of damage as you possibly can. And instead of the traditional service advisor setup, customers talk directly to their technicians about repairs. It's a much more cooperative thing where you actually get to see your work order and um, any information that we've gathered on it. It also contains a complete history of the car's service records for review, an online appointment scheduler, and a novel way to pay your bill. You simply sign and take a picture as proof. It will then be emailed to you, not printed out, thereby reducing the use of paper by the shop. It's funny, I kind of consider um, Luscious to be as much of a tech kind of a focused business as it is an environmental business. Customers like Mark Duro appreciate the inviting atmosphere and top-notch service they've provided for his 2008 Prius. I've had good and bad experiences working with various mechanics, but really never have I had one where over such a long period of time it's been so consistently good. She hopes others will embrace her new kind of repair shop culture and implement some green changes along the way. And I would love to see increased transparency, reduced environmental impact, general just ethics throughout the industry. And we want to do that with the carrot, right? We're trying to create a successful business that everyone else is going to want to emulate. You know, that's really the goal.